Hey folks, Michael Daniels here with Tinkering with Tech. Um, today I'm going to show you how to create a an overlay, a transparent overlay, so you can put something on the screen that you may want to do. We're going to try and do it in less than five minutes. We'll see how we do. Check this out. If you live stream, then uh, StreamYard's a great choice for you. Check out the folks at StreamYard. It's a really good uh, program as far as live streaming goes. Now, what I'm going to do and show you today is I'm going to show you around StreamYard and the way they have overlays and what they do. So let's go right into the brand section you can see over here. When I go into brand, I can add my logo. But if you notice, that logo only goes in the top right. So no matter which logo I choose, it goes in the top right. An overlay, however, you can see right here, let's use uh, StreamYard's overlay. You can see up in, that it covers the whole screen. I actually have one where I can put a border and put myself in a frame. So I do a lot of fun stuff like that when I'm doing that kind of stuff. Notice overlay covers the whole screen, but you see it's transparent in the middle. You can still see me. You can still see me in here, right? Okay. But a background, that covers me up. So if I were to hit this Christmas background that I have made. Now, granted, it's not going to show in StreamYard. And you know why? Because StreamYard uses the full screen. So if I remove myself from the stream, you can see that background. So that's a background. That's more of use for when there's more than one person. So that's the difference in a background which is behind you, so it's behind my screen. But if I do a screen share, let's just say I do a screen share, so that way you can kind of see what that looks like. I'm going to choose one of my other monitors because I have so many. So now you can see the screen share and you can see the background. See how the background's back behind it? And I can switch between those, okay? So on to what we're doing, instead of spending a lot of time sitting here, I just wanted to show you the difference in a background and an overlay. So even with this overlay, you can have an overlay and a background showing so you can kind of see what that looks like. That's the difference. Now let's get right to uh, designing an overlay. Let's do it. First thing I do is I open a browser window and I use Pixlr. You can use lots of different things, okay? I'm going to open a new image, but I'm going to do it 1280 by 720 transparent because I want that clear background and hit OK. It immediately gives me a blank slate to work from. There are many editing tools software out there, but I like this one because it's online and it's free. Since this is 1280 by 720, this is going to cover the full page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open an image as a layer. Okay. You can see it right there as an option up there. Now I'm going to get our logo. I'm going to get our logo with a white oval and hit OK. Now you can see that's obviously way too big. Just you learn the tricks of what to do and how to make this. See, that takes up the whole page. So all I want to do is I want to free transform this. And I don't expect you to know this. I'm just kind of showing you this is a way you can do it. I hold down Shift and take the bottom right. And I just make it small enough because I want that to show up on screen right there. You have to apply the changes once I've done that. Now this one's done. That's all I have to do. I'm going to hit file, save. I'm going to save it not as a JPEG, but as a PNG. This is the transparent part that's, that's important. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to call this top left logo. So this is a top left logo. I'm going to save it in as a PNG file and I'm going to hit save. We'll get back to that in a minute. Now <clears throat> I'm going to create another one. Okay, this one I'm going to do a lower third banner. So new image, same thing, transparent, 720, and hit OK. Now I have a blank, brand new blank slate, same thing. I'm going to kind of do the same thing. So I'm going to uh, add a layer, open an image as a layer, get the same logo. Here it is, white oval. There we go. Hit that. I'm going to do the kind of the same thing. So I'm going to edit. Free transform. This time, I'm going to put this one down. Oh, 
I want it pretty big because I want to advertise us, but I also want to make it so it's somewhat legible. Let's just put it like right there, okay? And then hit anywhere in the open area and then apply the changes. So now I'm going to add a layer. You can see over here where it says new layer. Boom, okay? Add a layer. I'm going to put this layer down below and there's a reason that I'm doing that below the logo layer, okay? I can name this layer logo and this one black. Okay, and you'll see why I'm going to label that black in just a second. So now, this black one, what I want to do is I want to go to the drawing tool, select the rounded rectangle tool. The fill shape is going to be black, that's fine. So what I want to do is I want to take this and somewhere right in here, and I want to make that black. Boom, there it is. That's kind of cool. It has my logo overlapping it, and because it's behind, that automatically fills in that way. So I really like the way that's turning out. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to take select, take my marquee tool, and I'm going to select the top of this somewhere about right here, because I want the black to show. I want the black to show. So I want to take it about right here. And this is just part of being the artistic part of me or whatever, I don't know how artistic I really am, but I'm gonna take this all the way. So you can see I left black at the bottom and left on the left, but you can see I selected all this. There's a reason I'm doing this, because what I wanna do is I wanna take this gradient tool, and I wanna make this, I'm gonna take, and you can see I put the little plus sign there, and I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna go like this. What that's gonna do, check that out. See how cool that is with a kind of a gradient look. Now, I'm going to take off See how the squiggly lines are all there of the selection area? I'm going to hit Control D. I can edit and deselect, which is also Control D. You can see up here, Control D. So now I've deselected that area there. Hit text over here, type tool, and I'm going to type in Michael. That's pretty good. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Let's go, yeah, that's pretty good. I want them to see who I am, right? So Michael, and then my last name, I'm gonna make it black. So I'm gonna hit okay. Then I'm going to hit the uh, another box and this one's gonna be Daniels. And notice this one is black. And really, I'm done. I hit file, save again. Okay, and I, again, I want this as a PNG and you're gonna see these show up on uh, StreamYard too. You'll see how I, I get all this, okay? So I'm going to save this as, okay, so let's upload our newly created overlays. I'm going to do the lower third right here. You can see it. I'm going to hit open, and it should add it alphabetically right in here. Okay, now I'm going to add another one, my other one that I created, so you can see that. I'm going to hit upload, and I'm going to go to here, top left logo, boom. And I've added both of those. So both of those came in and now I have them in here. So now whenever I choose them, there's my top left logo because I have it customized, but I can still see my screen. Also, I can put in my lower third right there. See with my name that I just created and that's how quick and easy that this uh, can be done. I hope this was helpful and I hope this was useful. If you found this to be useful and you'd like to come watch our show on Wednesdays, we have the Tinkering with Tech show live on Wednesdays. Come watch one of our shows. Also, please, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. We appreciate the thumbs up. And if you would, please subscribe to our channel. That way you can get notifications of tips just like this. Thank you, and I appreciate you.